You have to have a racket, and you have to have the balls, and you have to have a room with four sides on it, and a ceiling, and that's pretty much it. It was free as long as you belong to this club, the Ray Meyer Center. It's, it's free. So I was like four or five. My family belonged to a YMCA, and I used to go in there and play with my dad and my brother all the time. This is my first time and I sucked at the beginning, but uh, thanks to Kelly right here, he helped me out. The rules were probably fairly simple, just it took a little bit of practice to get into it. The hardest part was anticipating the ball and actually trying to keep up because once the ball hits off the wall, you gotta keep going at it and you can't just like stop at it because then you'll lose your point. So that was probably the hardest thing about it. There's only maybe five or six rules and that's pretty much it. So as long as you know those five or six rules, you'll be fine. You have to serve it. There's a little box and you have to serve inside of that box. You have to bounce it first, hit the front wall, and the ball has to land in between the first line of the box and then all the way back to the back wall. It can hit all surfaces, but it has to hit the front wall. Every, every shot, every swing that you take, it has to hit the first wall. Swinging the racket I missed a couple of times but because I couldn't feel the ball. So that's not the part, the part is the, the cardio part where you have to like keep up with it. That's that's the hard part. It's, it's, it's like soccer, you can't just stop unless like the whistle is blown, you know what I mean, or the point is scored. But, so. I, would, I would say first start something slow, maybe like you know play some basketball or maybe like run a little bit so you get a little more like active and um, have like a good cardio respiratory system. Um, I wouldn't recommend it with somebody that has like knee problems because it's a lot of weight shifting, um, ankle problems as well because um, otherwise you're gonna blow out a knee or, or sprain an ankle. I don't think there is an age limit. I've seen guys out here 75 years old playing racquetball and I've seen kids like four or five years old so um, as long as they can hold the racket and run around I think that's the minimum age requirement and as long as they're in okay, okay physical uh, condition um, you can play up to time you, time you die. Kelly is my roommate. He actually is my workout partner as well. I had to work out like five times a week or four times a week. But it was probably the best workout I've had. Um, I've never done this before. It was it was a workout and a half. I definitely got a sweat on. We will definitely play racquetball in the future because it's such a good workout. You know, it's it's so fun. It's not something where I could just run on the treadmill for like half an hour and be like, when am I gonna stop? Like I just want to keep playing. You know what I mean? It's really fun. I love it, and I'll definitely put it into my workout and uh, continue with it.